I put a spell on you. And now you're mine. Well, the spell has been cast, and the time to click that red subscribe button is right now. Speaking of spells, have you ever wondered about the fourth witch? Yes, I said the fourth witch. According to this theory, there was a fourth witch, Allison. Apparently, her family comes from a line of witches, white witches, who were formed to destroy the Sanderson sisters when they came back from the dead. The only problem with this is that if her ancestors were witches, and if I'm not mistaken, 300 years ago, people were hanged for being a witch. That would include her family too, right? Her family wasn't from descendants of witches, in all truth, no one in her family was a witch. The only thing her family had any relations to with witches was the house that her mom turned into a museum that failed terribly. Apparently, some freaky stuff happened. Allison being around the history of the Sanderson sisters growing up got me thinking, what if instead of her being a witch, she wanted to become one? This makes a lot more sense rather than her whole family being from a line of witches. In the classroom, she tells a bit about the history of Halloween. What All Hallows Eve is really about. Hallows Eve. <laughs> it's the one night of the year where the spirits of the dead can return to Earth. A little Easter egg, she looks a lot like Wendy when she walks away from Max. Wendy made her first appearance as a witch in May of 1954, Casper the Friendly Ghost. She does say she's fascinated by witches. She knows a lot about them, and I mean a lot. Her plan fully takes place when Max shows up to her house and they take off to the witch's house where they light the black flame candle. I have a strong feeling she knew he would light the candle. He's a guy, he's trying to be a macho man and impress her. Ho 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 ho. When the witchy stuff happens, she doesn't seem to be scared or freaked out, except for when the resurrection of Zachary Binks happens when he's ran over by the bus. She's brave. She has a plan to kill the witches, which fails horribly. I think she thought if she killed the witches, she gained access to the power of the book. She's infatuated with that book a lot. And that book is what gets them caught and Danny taken away. And plus, she also gets called a white witch. She never really caught my attention until recently. There's one more thing that troubles me. How does the book get back to the house at the end of the movie? And why are those two boys still stuck in the cages? Did she finally ascend to being a witch? I think this makes more sense than the original theory, but hey, that's just a thought. Until the next video, peace guys.